So I came up with the idea um, quite a few years ago. I've been working on the project now for about six years uh, and it's just been success after success. We do work as a team with the helicopters, the motorcycles, cars and ambulances. Uh, with the bicycle we're targeted the lower end of the coals, which is the category C coals, the coals that are not life-threatening. We can go attend on our own as a solo worker and make that clinical decision of whether or not the ambulance is needed. If it is, then we will call the ambulance. But in nearly 50% of our cases, we can treat the patient on our own or refer them on. They're chosen for the experience in the ambulance service anyway, so they've been in the ambulance service a couple of years, either emergency medical technicians or paramedics, and we do have uh, emergency care practitioners, so a highly skilled team. So that's the clinical side of things. But we don't just jump on a bike. Um, we have all attended the International Police Mountain Bike Association emergency medical services training course, you know, so we are of a high standard. The ambulance service in London deals with about 3,500 calls a day at the moment, which obviously is quite a, a lot to contend with. And in central London particularly, you've got uh, a lot of difficulty attending those calls in the required time because of the traffic congestion and the, just the heavy traffic on the roads and, and also a lot of pedestrian areas as well. With traffic and, and, and pedestrianisation, I think we, we can get through places a, a little bit easier with some of the ambulances, cars and motorbikes. If we're getting to the, all our calls within an average of four minutes, I mean every single one on our patch, and I think predominantly we can beat anything to those calls. On a vehicle you've got two of you, on a bicycle you've got yourself, you've got no one else to sort of play off of like making a decision, you've got to be able to think for yourself and think quickly and make decisions on what treatment that patient's going to have. I love being on the bike, there's no doubt, I love the contact, I love the freedom. Um, the, I like going to calls where I can assist the patient and not need my colleagues to come and pick them up and, and cart them off. If someone like on, somebody on a bicycle can turn up and, and just give that little bit of advice and, and a bit of first aid maybe, it's so much better for the, for the service as a whole. The cycling unit's developed a partnership with the Soho Walking Centre and a protocol by where we're allowed to refer patients um, to them where we think it's more appropriate for them than an A&E attendance and we tend to find that patients are very happy with that. We've saved many lives uh, by getting to the patients quickly. We've given back on average over six months worth of work 250 hours worth of ambulance availability time so that means any other emergency that's happening in London there'll be an ambulance available for them. I've done 18 years in the ambulance service and but the bike just gives that accessibility to members of the public that sometimes when you're parked up in an ambulance um, people do are reluctant not because we're ogres but they're just it's just a vehicle whereas on a bike it's people just come up to you and talk to you about anything you want